Hello, in this video, I would like to cover the tax rate that um, Apple is paying, and I will calculate the tax shield effect, which is actually one minus tax rate for Apple. Okay, how can I do this? So the tax rate can be calculated by looking at what Apple paid uh, in, in recent history. So what can I do? So I can just go to the income statement tab and then go down to the uh, tax expenditures, which you can see here, um, EBT excluding unusual items. And then uh, you can see including unusual items, which I like including. Now you can see the income taxes paid here. So what I'm gonna do is, I would like to calculate the income tax rate. Right here. So you can see that if I divide my income tax expenditures, divide by my EBT, including unusual items, basically Apple paid 39% tax um, in 1988. And if I just track this formula to the right all the way, can see that the current current income tax rate is only 14%. Basically, Apple is taking advantage of all the deductions and also uh, Trump tax cut uh, effect because Trump decreased the uh, tax rate from 30 plus percent, 39 percent to 21 percent. So you can see that effect here in recent years. The tax tax wise, Apple was used to pay 30 plus percent. Now Apple is only paying 14%. Uh, so you may say, which tax rate should I use? Okay, so what I would do is, I would look at these last three years because obviously something happened before then and take average of last three years because I feel like these last three years are more indica better indication for the future. But you may argue that tax rate may change based on the um, current debt problem in the United States. I assume that the average last three years is gonna be a good indication for the next 10 years. So I will use the average, which is 16% as, as, my, as my tax rate. So I will just go back to my intrinsic value tab. I will put here 16%. I will assume that this 16, 16% will stay, stay the same um, overall. And then next 10 years, and then maybe terminal, I will just look at the, I will say, hey, this 16% will not be forever. So why don't I just go and take the average of uh, longer term data? So let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is I will highlight shift left arrow. And I will look, let's see, 25, 24, 30. I just wanna see whether I can see anything crazy. So it looks like it was crazy 1998. So I can think that in 1999, I will start from 2000 because the rates were significantly different. So, so much happened between these years. Since 2000, if I highlight my tax rate numbers, you can see my average is 26%. So I can I can use maybe that value 26% as my terminal value. So eventually, maybe we can assume that tax rates will go up again because corporations needs to cover the debt problem in the United States. That's it for this, sorry, uh, before I actually cover it up, sorry about that. I need to do one minus the tax rate to calculate the um, uh, tax shield effect and drag it all the way to the right. That's it for this video. You can see tax rate and one minus tax rate shield effect. Until next video, enjoy valuations.